All right, so the public lecture I attended was David Hughes' lecture entitled From Urination to Biodiversity. And in this lecture, he addressed uh, some of the stuff that he uh, has uncovered that led to his Ig Nobel Prize for improbable uh, research. Uh, so he started off just talking about other Ig Nobel Prize winners, talking about how somebody who's levitated a frog with high magnetism. He talked about how, you know, uh, somebody figured out the Eiffel Tower looks smaller if you lean your head to the side. Uh, somebody uh, sampled what, what goes on in people's brain when they see Jesus and their piece of toast in the morning. You know, but, and, uh, and also mammalian eyelashes, how uh, eyelashes for every mammal are actually one-third the width of the eye. Uh, it's always the same length of the eyelash, which is, you know, just the perfect length. Um, so uh, he uh, kind of uncovered in this, by, by going to the zoo Atlanta, he looked at 32 species of animals there and just took videos of them, analyzed their urinary system, and, uh, and just um, made some very uh, intriguing and unprecedented observations uh, of the constancy of the urinary system for all animals. Constant proportions, which are very similar to the, the eyelash thing. They're all, it's constant proportions for all species. So for animals uh, urinating, um, it is also constant proportions, meaning that despite the size of the animal, the urinary system functions very similarly and uh, on a very similar duration. For example, a rat, um, it produces droplets. It doesn't even have enough urine to produce a stream, and yet it takes um, about the same amount of time for a rat to urinate as it does for an elephant to urinate. It may be pr producing, you know, a fraction of a liter where an elephant is producing 18 to 20 liters, an entire maybe trash can full, a giant trash can full, um, and yet, due to the, um, not just the size, but also the, the pressure and the, the, the height of the, and the density there of the uh, liquid in the bladder, it flows out much faster than maybe a much smaller liquid, much less pressure, um, creates a much slower flow called Torricelli's Law. I believe it's the law um, that uh, discusses that pressure to flow speed ratio. So he... Uh, he put all this together based on, you know, this observation and analyzing of uh, the animals uh, at Zoo Atlanta and made these uh, discoveries that the duration of all animals' urination is approximately 20 seconds. And this has been verified for humans as well. Granted, there are exceptions. If you don't really have to go, it may be like 12 seconds. And if you really have to go, it might be like 28 seconds. But if you take, <coughs> excuse me, if you take a mass sample of the urination of uh, maybe... Uh, 100 different, you know, urination events of humans, then you're going to average out very near to 20 seconds on the dot. That's simply the constant, you know, uh, proportion or the constant duration uh, for all mammalian species. So this was very intriguing, and I would I would take this research, um, I would take this research as far as real world application. Clearly, this is you know just fun knowledge, but it really can help in the real world to to kind of think about the flow. Um, of, of the liquid. Um, I mean, he, uh, David Hugh himself is, a, you know, a professor and a leader of the fluid mechanics lab here at Tech, and he could take this and, and apply it to um, perhaps, um, you know, you know, fire hoses, uh, uh, fire hydrants, and how they create the, the density and the pressure to create the flow, maybe from the fire engine to the hose and then to the house um, that happens to be on fire. You know, you can certainly uh, bring it into that aspect, maybe even just water flow throughout a city. Um, certainly the uh, creating higher density to create um, a quicker water flow, you know, to, to uh, you know, urban residents or, you know, just, just in general, it could really optimize the use of um, liquids um, throughout uh throughout cities or even throughout the world. So even though it seems like improbable research, you know, or it is impro improbable research, or even though it seems like a joke, and we got a lot of good laughs uh, at the uh, at the lecture uh, and at the presentation, it, it, it also can have some real world um, implications that are beneficial and can help and improve the scientific community.